Hey guys and welcome to a new video and today we got another loot video and this is 500 crystal shapeshifters. So these guys were released almost a year ago and at the time I was not playing all that much. So here we are today and if you are wondering you can unlock these guys from doing the Light Within quest which is the most recent quest involving Saren. And yeah, these guys can be assigned by Slayer Masters and they give a decent amount of Slayer experience. Just keep in mind, all of these kills were off task. The crystal shapeshifters are found on Tardiad, which is accessed through the world gate. And I found that the best place to kill them is over here to the north of the entrance. There's a lot of them that spawn up there. Otherwise, the spawns are way too spread out. I also found it's a lot easier to kill them if they're not aggressive to you. And you can do that by talking to the guy by the campfire, Angoff. Speaking of Angoff, he actually has a store that you can buy crystal armor from, which is a level 70 tank armor. You can also buy the attuned version. The currency for a store are the Tardian crystals, which are a guaranteed drop from the shapeshifters. And during this video, I killed all of them using Torva, but I would recommend killing them in crystal armor, especially if you have the attuned crystal armor, because the more pieces of crystal armor that you're wearing while fighting these guys, the more Tardian crystals that you get. So the amount that I got is going to be considerably less than what you might get if you use the armor. I was only using Torva because it was very close to getting to level 12. And I'm also really close to 120 invention, so I just wanted to get that done. But yeah, you can buy the crystal armor from the shop, like I mentioned, and you can sell it off to the GE for extra money. I'm not sure if they sell or if they sell for any good amount, but they look like they might. I guess we'll find out later in the video. But you guys are here for the actual drops from the Crystal Shapeshifters. Do they have anything rare to drop? I mean, they have a couple of them, but they're pretty much untradeable. Uh, one being the Ancient Elven Wedding Ring, which I'm pretty sure you need to get that drop if you want the Master Quest Cape. Also, if you're wearing Crystal Armor, it increases your chances of that dropping. It's very, very rare, though. You can also get Attuned Crystal Weapon Seeds and Armor Seeds, which you can use to make Attuned Crystal Weapons and Armors. I didn't get any during this video, but one of my viewers said that he got one in 1.3k. So I'm not really sure what the drop rates would be, but just know that they're pretty rare. They can also drop Crystal Acorns, which you need to be able to plant Crystal Trees in Elf City. You're already given one if you enter the Max Guild, so I'm not sure if it's that important, but just so you know. And that's pretty much it. I mean, other than that, they just have noted items. Anyway, though, there was one thing that was pretty cool that happened during this video. I got a 1.3 mil Battle Staff rare drop table drop. So I thought that was pretty cool. It did add a considerable amount of money to the video. It's always cool to get those type of rare drop table drops. And yeah, before we go into the loot, I do want to say like XP rates and how long this video took. So if I was on Slayer Task, this video would have given me... 650k or so slayer experience but as for the combat experience i got 1.5 million strength thereabouts and i also got 500k hp experience and with that said it took me four hours to do this video i'm getting like 125 an hour it seemed like obviously you can get faster if you're doing slayer or if you're not shit like me so the experience per hour is i would say okay it's like 125k hp an hour and then it's also like 366k strength an hour for the slayer it would be like 170k an hour i mean maybe more because you are on slayer tasks so maybe like 200k so yeah the experience isn't too bad but will the loot stack up i guess we'll have to see so before i show you my actual loot uh i'm gonna show you guys the shop the best item to buy in terms of ge price per crystal would have to be the crystal boots and then a close second would be the helm but I'm thinking that the helm wouldn't sell because helms aren't extremely important, especially when a lot of people use the Slayer helm. So I just bought a mishmash of everything. I bought one of each item that wasn't the helm, and then I spent the rest on the boots and gloves. Because I was thinking that that's most likely what most people would buy when it comes to the crystal armor. Um, but we'll have to see when I go and sell everything. I really hope it sells. But I'll see you guys at the bank. Okay, here we are with the inventory. And there's really not much to talk about here. I do want to say that I didn't use any spring cleaner uh, during this video because I wanted to see like the rates of the different rune items. It looks like you get a lot of rune equipment, which is always nice. Um, and I got 50 rune 2H swords. And if you look at that, that's 36k each. That's like 1.8 mil in just that one item. So the bulk of your money is going to come from the rune items and then probably the herbs. 
assuming that the crystal armor doesn't sell but i do want to see if it actually does that way we can see what we get from crystal equipment versus the normal items so here we go hopefully it sells um i'm going to put it way down just in case and it looks like it sold okay it sold for like 322k each not too bad um it is lower than the ge price about 100k less but i'm glad it actually sold i was scared that it wasn't even gonna sell for like 100k each so let's sell the other item see how that goes what the fuck 800k each for the gloves no fucking way okay i i made a terrible mistake guys okay um from the looks of this definitely buy the gloves because if the boots sold for 300k and the gloves sold for 800k and they cost the same what the shit okay so if i bought only gloves right assuming that they all sell for 800k and i bought only gloves with the crystals i got i would have gotten eight mil so assuming that these gloves actually continue to sell this way for a long time that that's not bad money i mean if i actually wore full crystal armor i would have been getting like double the crystals if not more and each glove is only 100 crystals and i got a thousand just doing 500 without crystal armor holy shit that's that's really good Sounds like I'm going to definitely continue doing these guys on task. Hopefully with me making this video, it doesn't fuck up the gloves price. But why are the gloves so much more than the boots, though? That's so weird. Anyway, sorry for rambling. Let's look at what the body and legs sell for. And they sold instantly. What the fuck? They sold for a mil. Not bad. Granted, it does cost more to actually get it. So it isn't that big of a deal. Uh, and it's also another mil. So I would say if you're going to buy any of the crystal armors... I would do the gloves first and then legs and body uh, second priority because per 100 crystals, the legs and the body would be 500k because they cost 200 and then 100 crystals for the gloves would be 800k. So the gloves are better if they end up selling for 800k. But if you get to a point where they don't sell much in the GE, bodies and legs are fine. But anywho, I got uh, 5.4 mil just from the crystal equipment. I thought it was going to be like 2 mil. So I am pleasantly surprised and i'm really excited to go back to these guys for slayer because holy shit that is good money so yeah i'll be back when i sell everything else see you guys in a bit all right i'm done and it looks like we're at 14.1 mil for the final price check and again it took four hours so that's like 3.5 mil an hour even with not getting the max amount of tardian crystals and buying the wrong items for half of the crystals that's really good money, guys. Like, I didn't expect them to be this good. Maybe I was just really lucky. Someone might have been, like, really wanting three gloves for no reason. Or maybe they actually sell for that. If you do try these guys out, um, good luck on your drops. But hopefully everything sells like it did in this video. Because that is absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, that's basically the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I just realized I swore a lot during this video compared to normally. I mean, I swear sometimes, but... Shit, man, that was, a, that was a lot of cursing. But with all that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.